It was another beautiful day doing what I love here in the Carolinas, when I found myself in the small town of Bailey at lunchtime. I asked the local folks where the best place might be to grab a bite to eat, and they recommended I visit Bailey's Cafe. And that's where I found something totally unexpected. Teapots. Teapots. Hundreds. No, make that thousands of teapots. Owner Roddy Hancock has filled the walls with the most amazing collection of ornate teapots you have ever seen gathered in one place. Well, of course, I just had to ask. Roddy, how in the world did you start collecting teapots? One yard sale, one teapot, it was over. <laughs> it was over. This one right here. That's your four dollar pot. That's my right? first four dollar pot, right? Thirty years ago. Yeah, thirty wow. years. Wow. Looks think, like a genie's in there. That's what they call them, a genie teapot. Oh, let me yep. rub it just in case. And see, <laughs> How many do you have now? In the building total here in this building, seventeen over some over seventeen hundred. Okay, just in this building. Just in this building. But you've got more? I got at least sixty more at home. Where do you find them? Where do they come from? Now? Well, I've got some from all over the world, especially uh -huh. traveling. My customers, once they found out that I was a collector, when their mom dad passes, they want somewhere to put those, put them that they do not end up in yard sales. Okay. And I promised them if they come in this building, I give them a place of honor. Yeah. And they'll always be here. So it's not only your collection, but the collection of oh, your friends the and the community. Yes. And it's, it's their place too. Show so me some of your favorites. The actually. oldest one, i tell you what the okay. oldest one is, is the brown one at the top right over here. See the real dark brown one right up here? Oh yeah, yeah. Brown that one's, one's 165 top. years old. 165. I, 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 okay. My favorite ones are all these hall teapots right here. Okay. I collect Fitz and Floyd. Okay. And Hall, H-A-L-L. -L. This, this company right here has been in business since 1903. So if you are a collector of teapots, then those names mean something to you. Yes. <laughs> These are all Fitz and Floyd pieces. Queen Elizabeth, Al Capone, <laughs> Vincent Van Crow, uh, Attila the Hen, Robin Hood. Oh, these are great. And Calamity Crane. <laughs> and those are all Fitz and Floyd pieces. So all Fitz and Floyd's, so there'll be a mark on the bottom right there, so that's a hall. Okay. And what happens is if you get into the older ones, like these up here, they're a little bit dusty. They'll have three marks on them. See, that one's got okay. two marks. Uh-huh. And that's, that's a more current one. The, okay. the older ones have three stamps on them. Okay. So, Ronnie, you got all these wonderful teapots from all over the world. What's your favorite tea? I hate to surprise you, but I don't drink this stuff. You don't drink tea? None of it. You like your coffee? You can pour coffee from hot water out right here and make me coffee, but I can't drink this. <laughs> <laughs> but you definitely love the pots that yes, come in. Yes, I sure yeah. do. Oh, that's great. Well, I got to tell you, Roddy, this has been such a great treasure for us. You know, we, we came here not looking for teapots. We came looking for a good lunch, and we got that. So thank you for that. I'm glad to have you. But then what a great treasure to share here. So bottom line is, six days a week, folks can kind of have breakfast, lunch, or dinner with you, and they can check out. get all out, the cakes you want. Get all the cakes you want. You make wonderful cakes, and you got a bunch of teapots to yeah. look at. I right. am the baker here. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Roddy. Yeah, we really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, it's a pleasure having you on here. I just love these teapots.